Hey Hungries, today we're at Bardez, named after the region in northern Goa, India. The restaurant opened by a couple of brothers who originated from Bardez very recently in Manchester. Located on Wimslow Road, aka the Curry Mile. What made me want to visit this restaurant? The menu. The food of course. I love Indian street food or Indian food in general. The chads and the butter chicken is what made me visit. It's not hard to find Indian street food or butter chicken in Manchester but personally I would say it's hard to find a really good one. So previously I have visited Chitten Chart and I do enjoy their chads and debris. Butter chicken wise I still haven't found a place where it tastes as mind-blowingly amazing as the one I had in Penang. so I'm still on the hunt. The restaurant was nicely decorated. It's cozy, clean and comfortable. There's a lovely seating space, not too cramped. They had a lunch menu available, so we ordered from both the lunch menu and the a la carte. Of course, I'm going to order samosa chat. I do like a vada puff. Then I ordered some chicken lollipops for the kids, butter chicken, garlic naan and a plain paratha too because I have a fussy child. So we took into the samosa chat first. Just look at how beautifully presented they are. So colorful and stunning. It already looks like it will taste good and it did taste good. The right flavors just pops in your mouth. The flavors you expect in the samosa chat the sweetness, the savoury notes, the crunchiness, the fruitiness from the tamarind. It's refreshing and flavourful. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Could have happily eaten it all by myself but we did share it between the two of us. Next we have the Vada Pav. I've always loved these. For those that haven't heard of them, they're essentially a deep fried spiced potato ball of happiness in a burger bun. You get two in one order, thank god because I wanted my own bun. And these were delightful. Again, I sound greedy, but I don't care. I could have easily, easily eaten both of them. In fact, I might do that next time. Look how beautifully presented it is already. Already salivating looking at it. It's spicy, but not overly spiced. It has the right amount of chili. It's crispy on the outside, a fluffy, soft and flavorful inside. A real part in the mouth with all the spices. Watching this video is making me crave for them again. I love dipping it into the dry red chilli chutney. I can taste the coconut, a little kick of chilli. Not sure what else is in there but quite possibly some garlic. Before it got blended into this delightful dry mixture. It complemented the bun so well. The bun was soft and a good size too. It has a good bun to potato ratio. Loved it and I highly recommend this one if you visit. This was my favourite dish on this visit. The chicken lollipops I got for the kids, not something I would order normally. These looked nice but I think the chicken was a little too tough and chewy, not soft enough for my kids. This was probably our least favourite out of all the items we ordered on this visit. It looked nice but it's nothing special in my opinion and there are definitely better choices on the menu. I ordered a plain paratha which wasn't actually on the menu but I requested it for my kids. Alu paratha would be more like my cup of tea but my eldest would only eat plain. It was served with a sweet yoghurt or day which was nice too. The butter chicken we had was tasty, creamy and moorish. The chicken pieces were a good size. I hate having curry with tiny pieces of meat. It really makes you feel like you're getting ripped off. If I'm totally honest I will say there could have been a little bit more chicken here for the price and the only other criticism is I would have liked a bit more heat in it. We did enjoy it though with some garlic naan too, which was nice, hot, fluffy and pillowy. The service was amazing, both the brothers were servicing on our visit. They were both really friendly, chatty and helpful. They interacted with my kids a lot too and had a little dance before giving my boys a complimentary mango kulfi, which is their only dessert. Made in-house by the chef and it was delicious and creamy, sweet and very mangoey. The type of dessert which takes you back to a hot holiday in Asia. I would recommend trying this too if you visit. Amazing food, 
great down to earth friendly owners giving amazing service definitely worth a visit i hope you enjoyed my video and thank you for watching if you like my content like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one